Hey all, so I'm going to do a, an autumn design using some water decals I've got from two different places. So I quite liked this one. Or maybe this one, but I think this one. And I got these off, I think it was Sheen or Timu. And then I have these ones from, let me zoom you out, from Nail Sugar. And I quite like all of them, but I like like these border ones and the moon. So I was thinking I'm going to use them. And I have my usual current favorite, which is clear by Nail Mate for like a creamy color. And then the, this is a, a, a cheaper one by Canny just off eBay, but it's kind of like a muted orange. It's not in your face. So I kind of like this. This is actually my current favorite orange. I do, don't actually think it's, unless that is the number, I'm not sure. But I do think I will be ordering a couple more. And for glitter, I have, this is the Autumn Mix by the Glitter Fairy from the Bridal Season Collection. This is an older one. I do not think she sells this anymore. But it's it's all kind of see-through and iridescent. But honestly, I just it's one of my favourite blends. So, I have got my tips here. Pre-buffed as usual. Just using the, the smooth side on one of these. The rough... If it's an old buffer... And you've used it a couple of times this will be less rude and less rough and more smooth so you can actually use that side to buff the nails but with that being a newer one at the minute i'm using the smoother side but i found that taking the shine off um taking the shine off taking the shine off does something oh it helps the gel polish stick better and I've just got my stamper, but this one, as you can see, it's covered in lint. So if you've got a lint roller, that's fantastic. If you don't, I actually just use one of my nail farms. See, can you tell that one of the cats has been in my nail trolley? I actually just use that and look, it all comes straight off. And there's the odd stray one still in there, so we just get rid of that. But that is the best way I found to clean my stampers, which, let's face it, in a house with pets is never gonna stay clean all the time, not whatsoever. So, um, the nail sugar decals, um, these ones need to go onto a pale background. Or if you use the method where you wet them when you're on your stamper which is what i'm going to do um you can with a very light coat paint the backs white so you can put them on on a different background so i'm actually going to put the decals onto this beautiful cream color oops and i've spilt it i took a way too big a bit there i can manage to get it on my ball um but i do love this cream color it's kind of like a, I wouldn't even call it, I'm not sure it even is cream because it's got like a peachy tint to it. But it is most definitely, absolutely one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna do every other in the cream and then the other two orange. Nice and quite simple today. Um said I am hoping this to be one full run through um, with extra minimal editing because then I can the less editing I have to do the more videos I can get out with as me saying before I can only get one video at a time because when I knackered my last phone I did just go for one of the cheaper ones that I could get my hands on, which means it does have the smaller memory, unfortunately for me. And since, you know, it takes about 300 pictures to get the damn photo you want for your nails, 
I'm having to delete and move stuff around all the time. And I don't know if you can hear that background of piano and bird song, but that is the Cam Your Dog channel on YouTube in the background, um, which I put on for Chip. I found if you're on YouTube and you type in TV for dogs, it brings up dog channels with um, like a couple of hour long videos. I just put them in secure. A couple of hour long videos with relaxing music um, made specifically for dogs to help with anxiety and help them relax when you're not in the house. But me and Chippy like to have them on so we can, or so I can, actually get a video done half in piece. Unfortunately, that means you're gonna occasionally hear the bloody adverts when they kick in. While that's curing, I will just clip out the designs I've got that I want ready. Now these were, these were a two pack, but I wouldn't really call them autumn, they're more springy. Um, but yeah, I do quite like this one. But I'm thinking I'm going to go for this one. I think it'd fit in more with the nail sugar decals. For the nice flowers. So let me pop that one out. I do actually have all of... I don't normally keep these in the plastic bags, but I've just not put them away. I used to be a Birchbox subscriber. So I have... And I'm going to try and cut away as much as possible. Um, but I, I did keep a lot of the birch boxes after I'd used the products because they were great for storage. So I've got like my, my silicone nail art molds in some. I've got paints in others and decals in one as well. But for the, for the cheaper, smaller decals like that, I keep them in a different one as well. All right, and that has cured... I think I am actually just going to keep that at one coat of each of those. As you can see, those actually covered really, really well. That's the only one that's maybe a little patchy. Now, I just have to figure out which decal I'm going to use. I think it might be this one. You know, for like along the side of the nail. Okay, I like that. Which unfortunately leaves my pinky a little plain. But there's not really anything small enough to stick on my pinky. Hmm. The pinky might just have to stay plain. Maybe just put some glitter on that one. But yeah, I think it's going to be this one. I suppose I could stick a little pansy on that one. You know, just that one right there. It's kind of got nice colours in it. But we'll go for this one here. It will actually fill the nail, but we can see how it goes. And these, the, the nail sugar decals, let me just zoom you back out. These came in the loveliest little envelope this is where I've kept them these are in one of my other orders and I got some some little autumn gnomes some Christmassy reindeer ones I think I've showed you these before some skerky rose squirrels and some pumpkins I've just not got around to using them yet but today I did not feel like messing around with my acrylic or really my gel for that matter today. Oh, and do you like my mat? This is what's giving it the art of me feel. I found them on one of the nail sites. So I am gonna leave the tacky layer on that. And if I just cut around as much of this as possible, 
just to get them where I want them. And I am going to use the stamper method to put them on. Um, and I will show you that one in just a second. So, we have my stamper. And if you put it on this way, and in the center, then I just have, let me move that over. I have just a little dish, and I actually just use a cotton wool bud. I mean, some people do just plop it straight in the water and soak it that way, and then they'll lay it on here. But I found if I lay it on here and I need to paint the back, then I can paint the back before putting it on. Not quite ready yet. Just give it another wetting. And I always keep just a little lint wipe just in case it needs a little dry off. Still not ready yet. These come on nice thick paper as well. Oh, oh, there we go. So, if I just blot any extra water off that. And then, let me pull you back in shot. And, will you zoom in anymore? Nope, I don't believe you will. So, this isn't the clearest of stampers. go and then you just stamp that in roll off and there is your little fox and then I just take the the non wet side and just give that a little brush to remove any air bubbles And then, just while I'm doing the other one, just to stop it from lifting because this is a curved nail, I am just going to cover it with base coat because I am going in with some glitter and I'm just gonna nuke that just so it stays where I've put it. Right. And we will roll the next ones on. And that one I will just put on my finger. We'll get a couple going at once. Now these are the nail sugar ones. These come off a lot quicker than the other one did. Right. I'm thinking I'm just going to have that about there. And I will just base coat that little chappy in. And I'm base coating, not top coating, because that gives me the sticky layer to add the glitter shortly. So, you're not focusing. There is my little fox, complete with his sticky layer. And next, we are gonna go for that beautiful border of flowers. Right, and I'm just gonna use my dry side because I apparently didn't take enough water off this one. So we'll just smooth that a bit. And I will base coat this little chappy. And for any of you wondering, I am using my, my McCart one. Hmm. Let me just give that one a quick 30 seconds. Now, I'm not actually sure whether I want to leave the orange plain 
and glitter the decoled ones or glitter the non decals I think I might leave the orange plain and put all the business on the other ones so I have my my handy little sheet so I'm just gonna put a little dab of base coat on there oops get my thumb one out there we go and my lovely little it's not focusing today it's been a bit of an ass i wonder if it's because of all the background it normally doesn't have a problem and i normally don't have a full background so what i will do is just scoop a little of this out And then I am going to go in with my brush. Oh, we do zoom in a little more. I'm just going to tap my brush in my base coat so it has something there. And then I'm just going to pick out a few, oops, sorry, just a few of the little flaky bits and move them around to wherever it is that I want them. And you can add some add some into the middle of the designs in the middle of the flowers if you'd like just so there's a little bit of sparkly something something on that nail there you go now i do not think the fox will need a lot because he takes up quite a lot of room anyway just spread that out a little bit this may work better with more shaped glitter like the, the hex mixes and the multi mix but I just really like the colors that this one happens to have in it which is why I chose it Sometimes a little bit of random sparkle is just nice. I keep having to remind myself the less is generally more because I love me some sparkle and I'd just nuke it all in there if I could. So let us give that a cure. And I will Pull this sheet off my pad so I can just well not spill it all over my nail desk preferably just tip that back in there Oops, and make sure you get all the air out of your bag or your bags are going to explode all right so that is cooking we're going to matte top coat it instead I think and we will see how they come out I mean the brush on this matte top coat spreads beautifully I actually have this out because um, I do take a few clients just not very often and she'd seen a nail design I'd done in a purple chrome just for like an, a little mini nail art competition um, it was just purple chrome that I matted out and did some like swirls on. But she really liked it and wanted to know if I had it in a red. So I had this out so I could just swatch all my chromes for her. Show her what they looked like. All right, I'll nuke those. Um, she really liked the colours. I actually sent her them all together. So she actually did end up saying she liked a pink one. Which was actually not what I'd sent her. Not what, not what she'd even asked for in the first place, even. But yeah, these were the the swatches I did. Oh, I'm missing one. There you go. But yeah, she liked the 
the effect of the macro. So this is the one she'd seen on some artwork. This is the red I have. And it goes kind of dark afterwards. Um, those are my little nail stickers to put my nails on in a moment. And those are the other ones. That's the, the rosy goldy pinky that she liked. But yeah. But I do like chrome when it's been matted out. It has a completely different effect than what it does when it's shiny. So, yes. I definitely like that matte because the glitter still catches the light. So I will just pause you while I spend five minutes faffing around with these and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I have got the stupid sticky tabs on my nails and I am just pressing these on. Now these are good for a night out, but some are better than others. These ones, oh, I'm not actually sure where I got these ones from and they're quite good. But I recently ordered some other ones, possibly off a sheen order. I think that's what I did last with a mini haul and not good at all, to be perfectly honest. Um, I have a little stray hair there. But yes, a second, let me just move you. There you go, as you can see, the cute awkward thumb angle. But even though it's matte, the glitter still has some, some shine when it reflects off the light. But there we go, that is my art and design. Oh, let me just zoom you out a little bit, there we go. So you get all the mess in the background now. But there we go. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you watched the end, in which case you're my hero and thank you very much. Um, all the likes and the comments mean the absolute world, it really does. And it helps my channel grow with your participation. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, thank you very much. And please click the like button and give me a thumbs up. Um, Anything you think needs changing or anything else, please comment and let me know. That's how I learn. And thank you all very much. And I will have another video for you all very shortly. Bye.